Good evening. This is the Financial Week. I'm Herman Green. The Wisinko Group says it has invested $1.5 billion in new production for its water. The company said the investment will help it to reduce the amount of plastic used in bottles by 50%. Wisinko says it's part of its efforts to reduce the environmental impact of its business as it champions the movement towards a more sustainable Jamaica. The Wisinko Group is the largest beverage manufacturer in the English-speaking Caribbean. The investment is to result in new look bottles that will be launched in schools this September. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar easing off its historic highs with the Bank of Jamaica intervening in the market. The greenback is now being sold for $137.90. The Canadian dollar is going for $106.28. The pound sterling costs $176.38, while the euro is selling for $157.07. In the meantime, the Bank of Jamaica has offered a U.S. dollar indexed note to investors. The investment product will be offered from Monday to Friday next week. It will mature in two years with an interest rate of 2.6%, with the central bank willing to accept any amount of funds investors are willing to invest. Jamaican companies pushing for clean, low-cost, reliable energy now have access to capstone microturbines to do so. The company recently launched the turbines, which are being distributed by Innovative Energy Company. CEO of Capstone Turbine, Darren Jameson, outlined the target market. Yeah, we're really targeting the, the, the whole waterfront here, uh, whole landscape in Jamaica. We've started with uh, Couples Resort uh, hotels. Uh, we've got several other hotels that are looking at technology. We've got a, a jerk uh, uh, manufacturer who's doing uh, sauces that has now adopted the technology. Uh, we're also looking at, at poultry manufacturing, spirits, uh, you know, any kind of industrial application is great application, hospitals as, as well. Uh, so anybody who's running 24-7 power and has any kind of electrical heating or cooling loads is a great potential for Capstone. The price of oil climbed today to bring the gains for the week to more than 5%. Oil for delivery in October settled at $68.72 a barrel. It's up 89 cents. The JSE index, it gained 1,948 points today, while the junior index gained 15 points. Among the winners were 1834 Investments, Caribbean Flavors and Fragrances, Derrimon Trading, Elite Diagnostic, Grace Kennedy, Indies Pharma, Jamaica Broilers, and Key Insurance. Now on the losing side were Berger Paints, Caribbean Cement Company, General Accident Insurance, Jamaica Producers, Alaska Distributors, Mayberry Jamaican Equities, and Panjam Investment. And that wraps up the Financial Week. I'm Herman Green. Good evening.